Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, April 10th. It's Monday in Holy Week, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 69, verse 29 to 36, and Philippians chapter 3, verse 1 to 14. Now please join me in singing the third verse of Sing My Tongue. He endures the nails, the spitting, vinegar and spear and reed, from that holy body broken, blood and water forth proceed, earth and stars and sky and ocean. By that blood from stain are freed. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. But I am poor and sorrowful. O oh God, save me and set me on high. Psalm 69, and please recite it with me. But I am poor and sorrowful. O oh God, save me and set me on high. I will praise your name with a song and glorify you with thanksgiving. And this will please you better than ox and bullock. The humble shall see and be glad, and God-seeking hearts shall be revived. For you hear the cry of the poor and do not despise prisoners in their chains. Let heaven and earth praise you, the seas and everything that moves therein. For you will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah, that the people may live there and possess the land. The children of your servants shall inherit it, and they that love your name shall dwell therein. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. But I am poor and sorrowful. O oh God, save me and set me on high. A reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Finally, my brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you is not troublesome to me, and for you it is a safeguard. Beware of the dogs, beware of the evil workers, beware of those who mutilate the flesh, for it is we who are the circumcision, who worship in the Spirit of God, and boast in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh, even though I too have reason for confidence in the flesh. If anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews, as to the law a Pharisee, as to zeal a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as lost because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. 
For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but the one that comes through faith in Christ. The righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in his death if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus had made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made my own flesh, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye and hide us under the shadow of your wings and for all of your intentions. And now, as our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We praise you with our songs, O tender God, and glorify you with our thanksgiving. Accept our humble offerings and revive our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.